Hello grade 2. We are going to correct our vacation worksheet. Start with me with the first exercise. Exercise number 1. Count by 2. Count by 2 is adding number 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 in my head, 2 in my fingers. After 4, 5, 6. I add 2, 6, 2. It's 8. After 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Look to the second number. It's 24. I add to 24 too. 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Look to the second exercise. Observe and complete the following table. Here I have the number and the sum and the difference. What the mean of the word sum? The mean of the word sum that I need to uh, know the addition of these numbers and the difference that means I need to know the difference between those two numbers. So I say 3 plus 7. 7 in my head, 3 in my finger, after 7, 8, 9, 10. The sum is 10. The difference is before I know the difference, I should put the greatest number in the first. I put 7. 7 minus 3. It's 4. I count after 3 to reach number 7. After 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 4. 6 plus 3. It's 6 and 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. 6 minus 3, 3. 12 minus 2, it's 12 and 2. 12 plus 2, 14. 12 minus 2, Ten. Excellent. Eight plus zero. It's eight and zero. Eight plus zero equal eight. Eight minus zero equal eight. Seven and thirteen. Seven plus thirteen, twenty. 13 minus 7 equals 6. 20 and 60. 60 plus 20 equals 80. 60 minus 20 equals 40. Let's go to the... Let's go with me to the third exercise. Compare by using one of these symbols. Before I compare, I should know the answer of the addition and the difference. So, 2 plus 2, after 2, I put 2 in my head and 2 in my fingers, after 2, 3, 4, it's 4, 5 minus 1, after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's 4. 4 and 4, who opens his mouth? No one opens his mouth, it's equal. 4 minus 3, 1. 6 minus 2, 8. Who opens his mouth? 1. 7 minus 1, 6. Excellent. What the meaning of one tense? It's ten. Who opens his mouth? Six. 
14 plus 2. How can I do it? 14 in my head, 2 in my fingers, after 14, 15, 16. It's 16. 11 plus 2, 13. Who opens his mouth? 13. 5 plus 13, 18. 4 minus 1, 3. Who opens his mouth? 3. What the meaning of 8 times? 80. What the meaning of 2 times? 20. Who opens his mouth? 20. Excellent. Look with me to the, third, to the fourth exercise. Calculate mentally. How can I calculate mentally? Look to the first one. What the meaning of 20? It's two tens. What the meaning of 10? It's one tens. So two tens plus one tens. I put my hand on T and I say two plus one. It's a three. It's a three tens, which is mean 30. Look to the second one, 60 plus 10. The second method is I put my hands on the zero, I say 6 plus 1. After 6, 7, it's 7. I put after 7, 0, so it's 70. 70, it's 7 tenths. 7 tenths equal 70. 30 minus 30, 0. 6 tenths minus 3 tenths, 3 tenths equal 30. You are going good. 7 tenths plus 2 tenths equal 9 tenths equal 90. 40 plus 2. 6 tenths equals 60. 8 tenths minus 4 tenths equal 4 tenths equal 40. 50 plus 5. I cross the 0 and I put 5. So it's 55. You are going very good. Great too. Let's go to the exercise number. Look, observe, and complete the following table. Do you remember the decomposed number? Look, I have number. The first one is tens. The second one is unit. That means number 14 here contains one tens and four units. That's mean the decomposed number is ten plus four. That's good. Let's try the next one. It's thirty-five. How many tens in thirty-five? Three tens. How many units in thirty-five? Five units. You are good. Look to the second one. Eighty plus two. It's eighty-two. How many tenses in eighty-two? Eight. How many units in eighty-two? Two. That's good. You are doing better. I have seventy-three. What's the meaning of 73? It's 7 tenths and 3 units. What is the decomposed number? 70 plus 3. 60 plus 4, it's 6 tenths. 4 units, and it's 64. You are going very good. Look with me to the exercise number six. Write in digits and in words. So, 
When I see a number written in the jet, I should write it in words. And where I see number is written in words, I should write it in the jet. Look to the first number. I have 15 in the jet. I should write 15 in number. 15. I have 51 in words. I should write it in the jet. 51. 60, 19, 70, 17, 16, 90. You are doing good. Let's go to the exercise. And look. Here we have Adam and Sally. Adam has 8 balls and Sally has 12 balls. The first question is what is the difference between their balls? What the meaning of the word difference? The meaning of the word difference is minus. Okay. The first line is the equation. In the difference, I start with the biggest number. So I start with 8 or 12? 12. 12. So 12, it's difference. What should I use? Minus or plus? Minus. 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8, I count after 8 till I reach 12. After 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many fingers on my hand? It's 4 fingers. That means the difference is 4. 12 minus 8 equals 4. I should write the answer uh, on the line of the answers. What is the answer? The difference is four balls. The difference is four balls. Excellent. Let's look to the second part. Calculate the sum of the numbers of balls. What the mean of the word sum? The word sum means add. What the mean of word add? It's a plus. So it's 8 plus 12. I put, I put the greatest number on my hand and the smallest number on my fingers. After 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So what is the equation I write? 12 plus 8 equal 20. You are doing very good. Now, I should write the answer in words. I should write 20 in words. I write 20 in words. Thank you. Great to see you later.